Hi everyone, in today's tutorial I wanted to show you how you can color correct a Kinescope AKMD2 footage in DaVinci Resolve, and also how you can remove some of the excess magenta from the shadows. So to start off here, I'm going to start from scratch just to show you what this entire process would look like. I'm going to create a new project, I'm just going to call it a Kinescope Color Correction, and create that. And I'm going to open up the project file. And I'm just gonna, for this demonstration, I'm just gonna do one clip to show you how this works. So I'm just gonna navigate to some footage, um, grab that clip and drop it into the media pool. And I'm gonna go over to the color panel. And you'll notice here in the color panel that there's quite a bit of magenta in the shadows. And um, you can see here this bar, there's sort of a, a black border around the frame. And then there's this magenta sort of shadow stripe here. This right here is a reference for black from the Iconoscope footage. So this should actually be um, sort of in line with this black board out here. This is a reference to show you what your shadows should look like. So obviously here, these shadows have too much magenta. So the first thing I'm gonna do to start working with this footage is go into the camera raw settings. And in this decode using project, I'm gonna change that to decode using clip. And that will allow me to change things such as the color temperature, the tint, or the exposure. Now, the big thing in this camera raw panel that we're gonna change is the gamma setting. And by default, it comes in at 709, but for a number of reasons, I actually think the correct gamma to be using for the Iconoscope camera is linear. And you're gonna see a pretty dramatic change when I switch this over. So switch that to linear, and you'll see right away the footage starts looking quite a bit better. And I'm just gonna switch that back so you can see the difference again. And, you know, even just going into the linear gamma corrects some of the magenta in the shadows. There's still a little bit too much there, as you'll see, but overall it's a much better starting point. So now that we've corrected the gamma, we're going to go back into the color wheels, and now I'm going to start resolving some of that extra magenta in the shadows. And to do that, I'm going to go into the log uh, color wheels, and here you'll see I have a color wheel for shadow, midtone, highlight, and offset. So with the shadow color wheel, I'm gonna use that to just bring down the level of magenta in the shadows. And once I've done that, you'll notice still that um, the color stripe here, the shadows are a little bit too bright. So I'm just gonna take this slider and bring the shadows down. And you can see that right, right away that sort of makes the footage appear a lot more correct and make it much easier to work with. Now, one thing you can do with DaVinci Resolve, which is pretty great, is if you are just doing a quick color correction for a daily or you're just trying to make a quick proxy, up here in this color menu, there's actually an option for auto color, which is Alt-A on the PC. And if I select that, you'll see, again, right away the footage is looking quite a bit better and is sort of brought into a normal uh, realm of color. And from here, it's a great starting point to change around the color settings. Um, you can see if I start adjusting, you know, mid-tone or the highlight, that in fact, those are the areas of the image that are being changed. I can adjust the shadow however I want. Um, and that's you know, I think the easiest way to sort of get the Iconoscope footage into a form where you can actually work with it and start applying a custom grade. Now, one other thing to point out with the Iconoscope ACAM footage is that you'll notice that there is this sort of black bar around the footage. And while that's great initially for sort of getting your references with the blacks, when you go to deliver, that black bar will be delivered as part of your image. So to prevent that from happening, what you're gonna to wanna to do is to go down in your settings menu here, and then you're gonna to wanna to go into image scaling. And within image scaling, there's an input scaling preset. And if you want your image to take up the entire frame without being scaled down, you wanna use center crop with no resizing. And if you apply that, you'll see my image has expanded to take up the entire frame. Now, the reason this happens is because if we go back here into the media panel and I select this media, you'll notice that the actual resolution of the footage coming in from the ACAM is 2048 by 1092, which is actually larger than 1920 by 1080 because it does have those reference bars on the side. 
So in order to sort of crop those off in DaVinci Resolve, uh, the way to go about that again is to go into the settings, image scaling, and set it to center crop. Now, if you want to get those references back, you know, it's very easy to switch it back to scale entire image to fit, apply that, and you'll see it scales down. And then you can see, you know, your side reference bars once again. So hopefully that has been a helpful uh, tutorial for you to figure out how to grade Iconoscope AKM D2 footage in DaVinci Resolve. I think the main thing to remember is in the camera raw settings to set the gamma to linear. And I think that will make your experience much more enjoyable when working with this footage. Thanks so much.